As investors, your concern is risk in return. You're going to see a renewable energy platform is a simple and straightforward innovation that prompts the question, why hasn't this been done before? I'll answer that with two words. I'm weird. Not the answer you were expecting. This means I see things differently. I always have. For example, you might see a screwdriver as something to attach or remove a screw. But I see at least 12 different uses ranging from a paper punch to an ice pick to a doorstop. Almost all major innovations were made up of technologies that were already in existence and proven. The innovator assembled them in a different way to provide a new and innovative solution and then commercialize that solution. The Apple computer, the iPod, the smartphone are all innovations developed with existing proven technologies. And that's what I've done here. Assembled proven technologies in a new way to solve a real problem. Now we need to take it to market, which brings me to my third point. We must strike first. I have a sense of urgency and I hope you will too. The very reason that this is simple tells me it might be replicated. It's crucial with any new technology to get it to the market first. The term for this is first mover. There is no second mover. The time is now and we must strike first. This video shows proof of concept of our patented hydrodynamic turbine. The heart of our renewable energy innovation demonstrated to more than 40 business leaders from the Grapevine, Texas Chamber of Commerce and engineers from the Dallas County Utility District. A large tank on a platform 7.6 meters high simulated the water flow from a short dam that is not tall enough to produce cost-effective electricity with conventional technology. This water was delivered to a hydraulic ram pump also called a hydram, that pumps water to a higher elevation using the kinetic energy of the flowing water in the absence of a mechanical pump. The water from the tank flowed through a pipe 11.6 meters long to an open valve near the bottom of the pipe. Gravity accelerated the water to increase the kinetic energy until the flow forced the open valve to snap closed abruptly, stopping the water and the kinetic energy. The energy shot backward through the pipe and was found to be 9.84 kilograms per centimeter squared, or 140 pounds per square inch. When the kinetic energy reversed, a second normally closed valve was pushed open to reduce the pressure and inject water into a pressure tank. Opening the valve reduced the pressure in the pipe to reopen the first valve and the cycle repeats. The two valves work like a teeter-totter, but one valve is open when the other is closed. Hydrams have been pumping water around the world since the 1700s. In our system, we pump the water into a tank to compress the air in the tank, where it is stored until we use it to rotate turbines to produce electricity. This is just like a conventional well pump that stores water under pressure until you turn on the faucet. When the pressure in the tank reaches 4.92 kilograms per centimeter squared, or 70 pounds per square inch, we have the equivalent pressure to a dam, 49.4 meters high. That's 162 feet, but we don't have a dam. This Titan turbine system used water from a short dam to feed the hydram and produced two watts of power. Our Poseidon hydroelectric system uses a siphon to feed the hydram. Siphons have been used since Aristotle's time to transfer liquids from one place to another without a mechanical pump. Siphons lift the water from a source before delivering it somewhere else. 
with Poseidon, the water is sourced from a body of water like the ocean and delivered to the hydram to be pressurized. Our designs incorporate our secret sauce for enhanced efficiency. For example, a traditional hydram wastes 60% of the water. We use every drop. The longevity and global use of hydrams and siphons document they work in concert with the laws of thermodynamics and operate continuously without external power. While we use solar to start the siphon, after the water starts to flow, we turn the solar off. We reduce investor risk and enhance rewards with five ways. Number one is new power plants sold to utility companies. Number two, standalone systems for power where it wasn't possible before or emergency power due to weather or terrorist events. Number three, retrofitting old hydro, fossil, or nuclear-fueled power plants. Number four, ship propulsion to replace diesel engines. And number five, modularization, reduces construction time and costs. We've blended centuries of proven technology with the water that covers the planet to create the next generation of hydro. Your investment will result in the first large-scale working model, leading to exponential worldwide growth. Be first to solve the world's energy problems. I'm Dr. Rick Navarro, Renewable Ocean Energy, where it can be done in harmony with nature. Thank you.